Ho ho boys, run to Borderline Games. I'm Gareth and today we're playing Almost My Floor. Uh, last time we were with the uh, the good detective and we went to Dr. Frugula. I think that's how you say his name. And we discovered that um, some some uh, malpractice has probably been uh, uh, taken place there and uh, resulting in uh, each of the people in this um, building, this apartment building, uh, getting a bunch of medication that gives them hallucinations, as you can see. Look at these guys. Um, and we're back playing Alex. We've just jumped out the window, successfully landed on our feet. I'll see what happens with that in reality. Um, maybe I jumped out of this window. Um, and, uh, and, 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 and. Uh, we were just thinking of the bright idea to set the whole place on fire. So we're going to see how that plays out. We have got the options, if we want, to... Um, to re uh the, the alarm system for the fire the fire alarm um doesn't work currently we can choose to fix it or we can choose to ignore it and just watch everybody burn i guess we'll find out let's do it what we're we gonna do these are supposed to be pigeons are these pigeons so cute i bet they can tear my finger off with these cuckoo Move the hell away from here or I'll bite you. All right. Uh, window. Oh. Did I mention to go? Did I mean to go? Oh, God. Oh, my God. <laughs> the corpse. <laughs> Don't scare me like that. Oh, my God. Well, okay. I'm going to have to blur that out. There's a note. Oh, this is Robin Bobbin. Monsters wait for me behind the door and an abyss waits for me beyond the window. What should I do? There's no way out. No choice. I can feel something getting into my head. Anyone who finds this note, get out of here while you still can. I used an electric chainsaw to hold the monsters back, but the battery's almost dead. I hid here and put the chainsaw in a safe so the monsters wouldn't take it. If you're a human, you can have it. Monsters can't read, right? The safe code is 6897. I hope you have better luck than I did, friend. Six, eight, nine, seven. Oh, dude, I didn't make it in time to help you. And you helped me even after dying. Hey, I remember seeing a flower like that before. So this was the person who planted it out in the corridor. Guy wants to make this place a little better. Too bad I didn't uh, make it here in time to thank him. All right. My God. I could have saved him if I'd acted faster. This goddamn building. Uh, six, eight, nine, seven. I need a code. Ding. Chainsaw. And bolt cutters. Okay, anything else in here? Company of a hangman is stressful to say the least. Oh, I just leave. All right. Cool. Okay. Go to the right. Door. I've already spent way too much time inside. Plus, it looks like it's full of blood. <laughs> okay, so this way? I'm not supposed to go that way. Which way am I supposed to go? Maybe I am supposed to go this way. Okay, way through. There we go. Here we are. Okay. That's way back. Weird things. Let's get this off. Was this really stuff locked up? Uh, was this stuff really locked up with such a strong lock? Why? Fuse? Won't open. And there's not enough space between the bars for me to slip my hand inside. 
It's so hot and stuffy in here and the fan isn't working. I think I'm going to melt. Note. Hmm. Jane, please ask the new janitor to call 999 so I can give him a briefing. And I hid the key to the cabinet so those two idiots Bob and Stan don't steal the equipment. Uh, Was that a clue? Oh. It's a janitor's uniform. Belongs to a company named Neatnik. Okay, so... What else we gotta click here? Yes, that's it. So I've got a fuse. A fuse. Do I need to actually call 999? Let's have a look. Call 999 so I can give him a briefing. Okay. New number. La -da -da. Hello. Hello, I'm the uh, new janitor. I need the key to the equipment cabinet. Well, which company are you from? Oh, I work for Neatnik. Very well, here's your briefing. The key for the equipment cabinet is under the locker. Is that it for the briefing? Yes, the rest is self-explanatory. Neat. Neat like our company. Remember the slogan? A uh, slogan? Less talking, more working. Less sloging. Thank you, uh, goodbye. Space under the cabinet. Can't find the key with my hand, I need a light. Uh, go. Voila, here's the key. Uh, and then I guess we're going then, right? This... Hose. Cool. So, are we done in here? I guess so. Oh, yes. But we're done in here. Uh, Alright, so... Destroy, kill, save us all. All right. Basement, red button, electric panel. Um, okay. Ah, okay. Boom. Uh, now nobody will get hurt. Uh, what else we got here? Literally nothing. Cool. Down we go. Hmm, gotta turn on the light. Where's that damn light switch? Oh, God. Hello, mate. <laughs> so huge. At least it doesn't seem eager to attack me. Ah, gas. Let's have a look. Lighter. Stone. What's this? Lever. Can I get this? Will you kill me, Mr. Man? Then I can get past this giant bloody meatball. Ah, okay. Sprinkler system. Okay, got it. Boom. Ha. Hey! Hey! <laughs> Okay. 
Ew, disgusting. Uh, what am I going to do then? Did I miss it? Is that why it didn't work? Try again. Oh, um... Hmm. Hang on. What else have we got? Oh, do I have to cause this to react to fire? So if I set this on fire, maybe? Where would I put this? Or do I do this? No. Uh... Nope. Nope. Hmm. I've got to put the paper somewhere. Pick that up. Here? And then, try our whole thing. And th Okay, now do it. Okay, cool. Take this, Mr. Meatball. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I forgot I had to do that. <laughs> Why didn't this explode? Uh, roast the meatball uh, monster. I did it. I got it. All right. Okay. Up we go. Back to the street. Alright, so now... We've got to go right back. Do -do 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 -do. Need a container for gasoline and a drain hose. Okay, we've got those. Oh, I see it's empty. That makes sense. Good. It's time to burn this damn house. Uh oh. Wait, what are you going to do? Kate, monsters are on the attack. I have a chainsaw, so I'll hold them back. Run! Drop the chainsaw, Alex. Don't make it worse for yourself. Damn, Alex has completely lost his mind. Maybe I can convince him to stop. Maybe he'll recognize me. Alex, please stop. Surrender to the police. Don't make things worse than they already are. Oh no, you don't have a chance, the house won't let you go. Come here, you blasted monster. I'll cut you to pieces. Uh oh. <laughs> you left me no choice. Shoot the real monster. Oh wow. Look how he sleeps on his uh, front. Adam, wake up, dear. The guests will be here at any moment, and we need to set the table. No, I worked all night, you know. I told you I'd wake you up. 
You have to stop with all those all-nighters of yours. <laughs> Could you bring me the tablecloth? Look at him. The one we got for our wedding. Did we get a tablecloth? It was red, with a yellow border, remember? You admired it a great deal. I couldn't exactly say that I don't need the useless thing, could I? Well, let's make it useful then. Come on, get dressed and help me out. All right. Uh, let's have a look at our clothes. I should dress up today. It's our anniversary, after all. Oh, magic. It's not the time to move furniture. I can barely reach it. I need to be careful. There could be something fragile inside. Now I'll do it. What is that? Festive tablecloth. Okay. Nice. Uh, okay. Anything else in here we need to look at? At last, I'm not alone anymore. That feels good. I guess we're just going out. Adam, what took you so long? It's not like I hid the tablecloth in Pandora's box, just on top of the cabinet. Knock, knock. Oh, here they come, just in time. Oh. He's alive? I think we need to take another trip together sometime. Last time we drove halfway across the country and it was so much fun. I wish I had the money for it. Not everyone can uh, be the city's most uh, famous detective. Oh, come on. I heard that you recently released an album. It scored pretty high on the music charts, too. It might be uh, time to start thinking about a nationwide tour. Enough of that. It's time for gifts. Happy anniversary. I'm so happy for both of you. Is this Masha? And we're not, the only, uh, we're not the only ones. We know that you have an anniversary of your own today. And it just so happens that I have a present, too. Do we? We've only been together for the past four months. But it's been a year since you've successfully completed treatment. I'm so happy that you two are better now. That frugally guy had such a did such a horrible thing. I was lucky that I uh, hadn't participated in his therapy. Frugally was responsible for the death of my father and five of his victims. Uh, I don't want to talk about it. Uh, I don't want to talk about it. But the body is still missing. I don't even hold out hope that he's still alive. Kate, I'm so sorry. Fujili is not leaving jail for a long, long time. I took care of it. Oh, that's his voice. Fujili is not leaving jail for a long, long time. I took care of that. Adam, thanks again for bringing this case to a close. If not for you, I'd be rotting in jail for the next few decades. Probation for attempting arson and vandalism is nothing in comparison to prison time. Well, plus that year of treatment in the hospital. The doctors had a hard time bringing Kate and me back to reality. Nobody believed that I didn't kill Nika. Except for you. You know, you've never told me how the hell you managed to pull all those pieces together. I think I'm ready to hear it. Yeah. I want to hear about it too. We tried so hard for so long to forget what happened, but I think knowing the truth is for the best. Especially if it's told by the best detective in the whole country. This seems too good to be true. <laughs> okay, it's enough of your flattery. I was just doing my job. So that's how it was. We've secured the girl. She kept screaming like crazy. Monsters. Monsters, let me free. She even bit one of our guys. Can we interrogate her? We'll let our uh, narcolo uh, narcologists figure out what drugs she's on and get her cleaned up. She's going to tell us everything. Hey, Adam. You can clear out and go home. The case is closed. It's just another domestic murder. I need to test my theory first. Do what you want. Huh, that Alex dude is lucky he got, uh, got away with only a scratch. Seems like uh, your aim isn't as good as it used to be, huh? Trust? I didn't want to kill him, just scare him. Or maybe you're getting just uh, old and sentimental. 
Whatever. Come by the police station when you're done and tell us what you've found regarding the Gortez case. I'm in the car and I'm driving past you. Watch out for your legs. Alright, so what are we going to do now? Good evening, Miss Lilia. I've arrived sooner than anticipated. I have some important questions for you. Come in, detective. I don't think I'll be any help, but... Sure, if you insist. Make yourself comfortable while I prepare you a cup of tea. I need to look around while I have a chance. Eats. Nika and Lily. More beads, huh? If we put them together, it spells Nika and Lily. Yes. I can see chips and scratches on the table. The carpet is dirty. Traces of a struggle. No wonder they're still visible. Cleaning must, uh, must not be easy in Lilia's current condition. What else we got here to look at? Pillows. Nika Gortez, coffee maker, coffee break. The badge belongs to Lilia. An employee of the coffee break coffee house. Wait a second. No, it doesn't. It doesn't say uh, Lilia, right? What are we doing? Oh, it's Nika's badge. I think I'm starting to get the whole picture. Oh my god. Hmm. I saw this photo in a magazine once. Was Lilia a model before her accident? Probably just starting out. If she was living in this place. Oh, she was on the pills. A very strong sleeping pill. Oh, maybe not. A clipping of interviews from Lilia from various magazines. She'd been a rising star in the modeling scene. Uh, I guess that's it for here. Dog bed. Does Lilia keep three dogs? How could she take care of them in her condition? What else are we going to look at? The window? The window is right above the entrance to the apartment complex. There are scratches on the windowsill. Hmm. What else are we going to look at here? Um, okay. Done this, right? Yeah, we did that. Have I missed something up here? A strong sleeping pill. Done that. Yes. Can I go down now? Can I go up? No. So I've definitely done that. Pillows. I did the window. Hmm. <laughs> I feel like I've done everything. Can I? I go to see <laughs> where she's gone. What haven't I clicked on? I've done all of these. Uh, I'm just gonna hang out here. Oh, do I have to do this? No. Blood sample. Sample of blood taken from Fugili's lab. Nope. Nope. <laughs> nope. Uh, okay. Okay. Can I interact with things here? No. Can we just click on them? What am I missing here? The beads I found. 
I can just click on that. Patient data for the residents of Nine Dark. I feel like I've got to use this blood sample somewhere. No. Doesn't look like it'll be used here. No. <laughs> oh, is this supposed to go there? Oh, uh, nope. Oh yeah, this this was outside, wasn't it? It's the murder weapon. No. 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 What in tarnation? Okay, I'm gone. It's so confusing. It feels like it should have triggered something by now. Where are you, Lily? What am I supposed to do? No. No. This is, uh... No. No. <laughs> no. This is point and click games 101, isn't it? Okay, I'm gonna have to let's look at a uh, walkthrough. One second, I'll be back in a sec. Bye bye. All right. Okay. So I've figured it out. The problem is, is that there's one thing I forgot to click on, or I didn't, I failed to click on. So I've done that. I've done the beads. I just reloaded to see what the problem was, and I think I found it. So, see chips and scratches on the table. Carpet is dirty. Traces of a struggle. No wonder they're still visible. Done all that. Oh, hang on. This, which we've already done. Let's skip that. Window. It should give me a better clue as to what... It should have a highlight. This is the thing I missed. Right, so. Saw this photo in a magazine once. This. Clippings of an interview with Lilia from various magazines. She had been a rising star in the modelling scene. Pills. Here. Something stood next to the photo for a long time. That something was uh, recently removed for the spot. It is not dusty. Oh. Looks like it fits. Uh-oh. There she is. Thank God. Here's your tea. Ah, what a pleasant smell. Is it cinnamon? Yes, I always add some tea. Uh, some to the tea for flavour. Nika smelled of cinnamon as well. Uh, I... that doesn't mean anything. Better tell me what's going on before we visit the police station. I'm not a murderer. I know. Please get dressed and tell me everything on the way. This is ableism. I feel so sorry for Lilia. There's no need for uh, to pity her. You know she hates that. And she's doing fine. She took up modelling again, started a blog, now she's a star. Dear, could you please stop trying to weave the story into some grand tale for our guests? Listening to what happened is hard enough for them, so you don't need to make it exciting. Come on, tell us how you solved the case, Mr. Best Detective. Adam. Haven't seen you in ages. You're a bit late, friend. We've already solved the case. Alex was interrogated, and it looks like he's going to jail for a long time. Why did it take me so long to do this? Don't rush. There are still a few more things to do. What? Are you trying to give us more work? Did the experts do the blood analysis uh, for Nika and Alex as I requested? Are you done studying the blood sample I took from Frugili's, Frugili's office? Yeah, check the folder on my desk. I didn't read it though since the case is clear as day. Good, I've called Frugili and he'll be here soon. And now Miss Lilia wants to make a statement. Adam, you're lucky that you're my friend. Otherwise, I'd tell you to get the hell out. Yeah, wait five minutes. I'll make some coffee. Make yourself comfortable. Pile of case files. Looking at it, I can sort of understand why most police officers want to close cases as quickly as possible. 
Most of them are your usual domestic crimes. Luckily, I can choose my clients and work on more interesting cases. Hmm. So the blood in Frugili's office belonged to Niga, Nika Cortez, but the trace is not fresh. Probably about a week old. So why didn't Frugili clean up the blood? Was he so sure that he wouldn't become a suspect in her disappearance? At least the report confirms my theory. Uh, there are traces of psychotropic substances. Even a day later on the test wouldn't have been able to find anything. I hope Frugili's patients can still be saved. Uh, okay. Miss Lilia, don't be afraid. Everything will be alright. Your story will help us punish those responsible. What if they don't believe me? They were not only your words, but also the evidence I've gathered to support them. I'll be there to help you. Thanks, Adam. Uh, I wish I'd told you everything before. Then things wouldn't have gotten so troublesome. Better late than never. Frugally is in the interrogation room. Threatening to complain to the chief himself. My partner will deal with him. As for you, young lady, I'd like to hear your story. Lilia, don't be afraid. Everything will be fine. Nika and I were friends. But I think she felt guilty after the accident, so we drifted apart. See, I was substituting for her at work that day at the coffee break. She had an appointment with Fugili, but our manager is so strict she will fire you for skipping a day of work, so I was wearing her uniform and badge. Miss Lilia, could you please get to the point? I'd like to go home on time today. She's been talking for two seconds. I got hit by a car that evening. There were rumours that it uh, was some stalker who'd sought revenge on Nika after she rejected his advances, but the police couldn't prove it. Since then, I've been in a wheelchair. Hmm. We haven't talked with Nika afterward. But about a week ago, she came to talk to me. She was in tears and scared to death. She said she kept seeing weird things. Monsters, floating eyes, everywhere. But then she attacked me. She got so aggressive, screaming and called me a monster. Even tried to strangle me. Luckily, I managed to knock her out and tie her up. Why didn't you call the police? I was so scared. To be honest, I thought about taking revenge on her for everything that had happened, but I couldn't. So I just kept her tied up, fed her. I waited for her to come to her senses. This morning, Nika broke free somehow and attacked me again. I took the first thing I had my, uh, by my hand and tried to defend myself and she died. I never wanted that. Oh, well, we found the truth. Miss Lilia, please take it easy. Nikki's blood test confirms your story. It's not enough, I'm afraid. I searched Fugili's office and I found his research papers, test results and patient records. He won't get away with this. Nika was drugged. What Miss Lilia did was self-defense. That's some questionable self-defense, but I guess it could work if she gets a decent attorney. I barely managed to drag Nika's body to the elevator and I threw the statuette out the window along with the garbage. It was naive to think that it'd be enough to deflect suspicion away from me. Well, if it weren't for me, nobody would ever have known. Aren't I so good? Yeah, yeah, I get it. We're incompetent and you're the top dog. Ugh. Looks like it's going to be another old nighter for us. Interrogations, case files, reports, but... Anyway, Miss Lilia, I'm afraid I'll have to detain you. Self-defense is one thing, but keeping a person in captivity and tampering with evidence are both criminal offenses. Hire a good attorney and hope that you get off with probation. And yes, Adam, you'll need to be interrogated as well. We have a lot of work to do. Oh. Take him away. Adam, don't listen to him. He's deaf. His life work and his career ruined. Frugili is one hell of a bastard. Good thing he's in jail. Nothing would have happened if not for him. I hope you don't believe what he said. 
I've thought about it, but there weren't any mistakes in my investigation unless that place is actually inhabited by demons. <laughs> scary. It's about the same chance as aliens setting up shop in that place. But enough sad talk. We have a lot of cake to eat. Adam, dear, please cut everyone a piece. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Adam, keep you cool. See you next time. Complete the game. Yeah, the end. Well, that was fun. That was a fun little point and click. Do I have to click? Oh, Mika Gortez. Ooh. Is that setting up a sequel? Oh, yeah, of course, there's a second one. Well, what a lot of fun. Well done. What are they called? What's the people that did this? Almost My Floor. Was made by a developer called... Oh, yeah, that's right. Potato, Potato Company. Well, good job, Potato Company. That was a fun little romp. Um, and I guess I'll see you next time on Borderline Games. Thank you so much for watching this uh, series of Almost My Floor. And if there's any other point and click games you'd like me to see, let me know in the comments below. Uh, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Have a good evening. Bye-bye.